Weather forecast. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Dick Marianos. Now it felt really warm out there today. Oh yeah, it right? was nice. It was certainly a treat, right? Compared to last yeah. week with the clouds and some of those cloudy days and some of the misty days. Yeah, the sun was out there today. Temperatures lower 70s. Many spots uh, had records uh, that were either met or exceeded earlier this afternoon. Tomorrow not likely as warm, but we'll still be pretty close to those records again during the daytime. But the bigger story later this week is going to be the storm system that will be impacting really the entire span of the West Coast and we will see the impacts arriving locally as early as Wednesday afternoon. But right now I'm thinking the heaviest impacts come in Wednesday night into Thursday and this system here is going to provide widespread rainfall. If you think back to the storm system from last weekend, the rainfall that we have there in the area wide impacts we'll likely see fairly similar impacts, but this one does bring a higher potential for some stronger wind gusts across the valley Wednesday night uh, with gusts approaching perhaps upwards of 40 to near 45 miles per hour. So we'll have to watch for a period of some isolated power outages Wednesday night with this, along with the certainly the uh, moderate to heavy rainfall that will lead to that nuisance poor drainage flooding, kind of similar again to the system from about a week ago. Then you get up into the higher elevations of the Sierra. In the last few storms, had those higher snow levels. This is how this one starts, but the snow levels will start to drop as we move into Thursday and Friday as low as 3,000 feet. So starting about six to 7,000 feet and then lowering down to 3,000 feet as some cold air gets worked in. So here's that storm system out ahead of it. We're drawing in that warm air in place. That's why our temperatures today were in the lower 70s. We have that sunshine in place, mostly clear tonight, but there will be some patchy fog early into the morning, and then we'll enjoy another mild sunny day tomorrow before the clouds roll in. I think we still get breaks in the cloud cover on Tuesday. Tuesday is a dry day. Then by Wednesday, you can see the rainfall, the heavy rain moving on shore. We are looking at a potential for some potential land, uh, you know, the uh, areas of uh, high water in place, the poor drainage flooding. Tuesday night into Wednesday across the coastal ranges and a little bit later into the day Wednesday and Wednesday night for the foothills in the Sierra. Notice the snow levels continue to drop as well and staying unsettled all the way through Friday with rain chances continuing to remain in the forecast. Healthy precip numbers though coming in much of the valley picking up at least one to two inches of rainfall a little bit more as you head up to the north. Some spots in the foothills another two to five inches of rainfall especially north of Grass Valley and you get up to the higher elevations and right now we're looking at pass level uh, so about 7,000 feet or above one to two feet of snow is expected. All right, here's your forecast for the week ahead. Again, Wednesday, Thursday, seeing widespread rain, especially Wednesday night. And then we'll have a break on Saturday before yet another potential storm coming in next Sunday. Tony. All right, Nick, thanks. Lunar New Year celebrations.